what's inside of a traffic LED. So it has come to my attention that most people have never and will never even get the opportunity to see what's inside of a traffic signal LED. Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at that. This one right here is actually made by GE. Yes, the same company that made most of your appliances inside of your household they also made traffic lights. They stopped production back in the 80s, so it's not likely that you will actually see these on your day-to-day -day commute, but this guy right here is what you will almost always see on your daily commute. You may believe that this video is going to be quite simple and that this should be a real easy task to open up these LEDs, but you're quite wrong. You see these LEDs are built to withstand any kind of weather conditions, so it is going to be actually quite difficult to get this housing disassembled. This LED from GE should be the most simple one that we have to open up. They will all have a nice little rubber gasket and that's going to be what kind of keeps weather outside of the plastic housing. Now GE doesn't really have a silicone that's running around the edge. It just has a bunch of tabs that we should be able to pop off, hopefully not break everything because if this video gets 500 likes, I will give away this LED to somebody that comments down below. Alright, there's one tab undone. Oh yeah. Be from keeping these tabs from just locking themselves back down. Pretty simple on the GE traffic LED. This is what I was using for a gasket on the inside. Just a little rubber gasket instead of some kind of silicone. And this is actually pretty cool here. This is just a plastic piece that's really giving that directional arrow the presence inside of the LED. And then of course we do have the colored lens of the LED, making sure that it's red and not some other color. Inside of this side, you can see that we do have a LED board. Let's go ahead and get this unbolted from the plastic housing and let's get a closer look at that. Pull the screw off of the wiring side here so that it should loosen up these cables. Ah, it actually doesn't. This is internal. I've actually never looked into one of these ones a little bit more, but it's internal from this side. So this is connected to two lugs and then it wires into these two tabs here that actually powers the LEDs on this board. That's actually pretty cool. Guys, this is actually what it looks like on the inside of one of those traffic signal LEDs. At least the GE one that was from the 20s to the 80s and then production ended in the 80s. So on this board, we do have a series of resistors and even a surge protector and a handful of other things. So let's put this one to the side and see what kind of traffic lights we are using at a more modern age. Now we started with the easy one. Let's open up the more modern one that I know is gonna be more difficult and I'm almost certain that I'm going to break this LED. Same as the GE LED, it's going to come with this little weather protection that is so that water cannot get into the housing. And this one, instead of a small rubber gasket, is actually silicone that's all the way around this lip. So it's going to be a bit more difficult to get this guy open. Take this LED, take my flathead and kind of get in there and start breaking that seal. Let's see if we can make that work. A tool that may fix that. Oscillating tool, cutoff tool, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to wear your proper PPE, like safety glasses. And let's just try to cut that seal. Oh, snap, guys. Ha! Oh, oh, I think I got something in my eye. Ha <laughs> ha, kidding. Joke's on y'all. On it. Ah, what's inside of a traffic LED? Now I have this huge mess. Let me try to clean it up real quick. My wife is gonna love this one. Remember guys, always make sure to clean up after yourself. Don't want to get any mad wives out there.
As we can see, this LED is definitely a little bit different from the last one. It has a bigger board on top that's keeping that directional arrow a little more contempt with the LEDs. Uh, but let's go ahead and try to pull this board off and see what it looks like underneath. As I can tell, there's a motherboard down below it. A few Torx screws, but luckily my Allen keys work on it. Hmm. Lucky us, for some reason, this one's a little bit different. I'm gonna have to find a different tool for this one. So don't know if y'all can't tell, but not too concerned about this one anymore. So one screw ain't gonna hold us up. We're just gonna rip it right out. And now we can see our full LED board with that directional arrow. All right, let's cut our AC power cables out. And now you can just see this is a blank housing. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special here. Let's put it on the ground. So you can see how times have changed, how everything was one complete unit in that old GE one to now. And you can actually see who makes some of these products here. I do believe that these LEDs now are like made in Mexico, not even made in the US. Uh, and you can see Philips is one of the manufacturers made in China on the board. Uh, it's just the stuff we get nowadays. I would almost bet that GE, pretty much everything would have been built in America at that time, while this is Chinese, Mexican, all the way to the US. It's a dial light LED, by the way. All right, so actually checking the differences here, the GE ones, not made in America, it's actually made in Canada. So the older products that we used to use, at least they're made in the same hemisphere. While we have a lot of parts in our newer traffic signals here that are made in China, this is the power assembly board here. You connect this to the AC line and then this board here to the LEDs and that will be what powers the LEDs on the signal itself. And it says it's assembled in Mexico. So really looking into these parts and just seeing dial light, you know, again, get a lot of stuff from China. Unfortunately, this is a product, you know, power supplies and things like that. This is a product that China does do fairly well, but still cool to see what's inside of these guys and things that you drive past every day. I ain't gonna lie, I did forget to even check if this guy worked. So let's plug it in. If this one works, then we'll for sure give away this GE LED. Now, would you look at that? That's pretty freaking cool. Got the red LEDs on the inside. Everything's working on it. You do have some cable coming out the back. If you win this guy, please, please know what you're doing when you go to plug it in. If you're inexperienced, get with somebody that is experienced, reach out to me and we will get this thing worked out. But it's just a cool thing to have inside of your room as well that you can hang up on the wall. Remember guys, 500 likes on this video. Make sure you comment down below and I will be choosing one of y'all. I will figure out how to get with y'all to get your shipping address and I will send you this traffic light. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. I did myself because I've never actually torn into one of these lights and it was pretty fascinating to look a little more in depth into these LEDs. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the Traffic Light Doctor YouTube channel where I have plenty more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.